what's going on youtube man welcome back to another video now before we jump into today's video man you should uh, know what you should have been did like comment and subscribe we trying to save the world we trying to save as many people as we can so make sure you hit that post notification bell so you don't get that post not clarity my guys now listen man today we we i brought back the urologist to the channel i don't know why i brought her back but i seen this video and i was like let me just bring her back right quick so you know make sure I, make sure y'all join in the discord man if y'all got any videos that y'all want me to react to just drop it in the discord and i will bring it to the channel so Without further ado, man, today's video, masturbation, who's doing it and how often. So without fur further ado, let's jump into it. Masturbation month. So we have to talk about masturbation. I'm Dr. Rina Malik, urologist and pelvic surgeon. If you're new here, I make content on urologic health, sexual health, bladder health, and so much more. I release videos every Monday and Friday. So if you're new here, make sure you subscribe and share this channel with your friends so everyone can learn more about their bodies. Masturbation is free, it's safe, and it's a really accessible way for lots of people to experience pleasure. But wait, wait, what was that? It's safe, and it's a really accessible way for lots of people to experience. Weird, buddy. You're weird pleasure. But how many people are really masturbating? You've all heard the saying that 95% of people are masturbating and the other 5% are lying. But is that actually <laughs> true? In order to answer that information, I'm going to tell you some data from a couple different studies. In 2010, about 5,900 people were surveyed using the National Survey of Sexual Health and Behavior to find out more about their sexual practices. And what they found is that men were pretty consistently masturbating across all ages age groups and this included men from the age of 14 to the age of nine what boy ain't no way 14 to 94 bro how are 94 year olds even still masturbating bro how, how is that how is that possible for in 2010 14 to 94 year olds were masturbating 94. And when you look at rates of lifetime masturbation or having ever masturbated throughout their life, rates range from 67 to 94 percent depending on what age group they were in. In the past month, that rate dropped to about 43 to 69 percent. In the people above the age of 70, that rate declined even more significantly to 28 percent. And interestingly, masturbating by yourself rather than with a partner was more common in younger people, ages 14 to 15, and people over the age of 50. In women, the lifetime rate was a little bit lower, ranging from 43% to 80 Now, we know this girl not really watching no PMO, bro. She probably watching some educational video, man. Like, why they had to post this innocent girl? You know what I'm saying? Like... 5%. However, in the past month, that ranged from 21 to 50% with older women above 70 going down as low as 11.5%. So clearly women are still masturbating less often than men, at least in 2010 they were. Okay, let's focus on the younger age group. So that was obviously 2010 data, but the same group then looked at data in 2018 from the same survey. So they roll this survey out every few years and what they found was that adults ages 18 to 49 had pretty much similar rates of masturbation from 2009 to 2018. However, young people ages 14 to 17 used to masturbate about 56% of the time in 2009 and went down to 40% in 2018. But ultimately, people are masturbating less in theory because they're spending more time doing other things. We now have phones and devices and all these other electronic things that keep your mind stimulated with other activities rather than getting bored and finding some she just said the opposite of what people actually be doing she just said the opposite of what people actually be doing like y'all really think people are out there not getting distracted or tempted having a having a whole device 
having a whole device and she she started the video out saying porn is free mind you she, that's how she started the video out that's what she said at the beginning now she's saying that you you have a whole bunch of activities to distract yourself on your phone when when porn is free else to do like masturbating what about older people well there's been a few studies on this and it really depends a lot on the cultural context when you look at european countries that are more liberal or maybe the nordic countries that tend to be more liberal and compare them to southern countries you find that men masturbate more frequently or more often in countries that have more liberal mindsets also older people with higher levels of education and access to good quality sexual education are usually more likely to masturbate because they have less fears about masturbation and less cultural noise, so to speak, telling them that this might not be good for them. If you missed my last video on masturbation, I talk a lot oh, about- Oh, we watched it. Best believe we watched that video. What's her name? Dr. Malik Malik. We watched that video. And we were not, we were not, well, what's the word I'm looking for? We were, we was not, like, damn, what's the word I'm looking for, man? Y'all help me out here. Everything she said in that video, man, if y'all haven't seen that video, make sure y'all go check that video out, man. We That video really gave me, that, that video raised my stress levels, if we being real. We did not learn anything from that video the benefits of masturbation. Some of these include having better overall sleep quality, having better mood and enhanced happiness. So another study which looked at European in adults, about 3,000 European adults between the ages of 40 and 79, and they wanted to find out what was associated with a higher masturbation frequency. They even asked questions about their attitudes towards sex and masturbation and how they feel about society. Did they feel that sex was legitimized by love? Did they feel like you needed to have love in order to have a good sexual relationship? Did they feel that sex society was too stigmatized by sex and there's too much discussion about sex? And they asked specifically, how often did they they masturbate and how often did they have sex oral anal or vaginal intercourse so overall in this age group women masturbate less than men did not so different from the US study in 2010 interestingly those adults that were in a relationship were more likely to masturbate than those that were not and also if they were more satisfied with their sex life they were less likely to report participating in frequent masturbation those people who believed or had a mindset that sexual decreased with old age and there was too much sex in society today were less likely to masturbate not too surprisingly whereas people who thought that sexual activity was beneficial for older people were more likely to report masturbation so bottom line is mindset has a lot to do with how often older adults are masturbating this last bit of data that I'm going to share with you was collected in 2018 by Tenga, a sexual wellness company, where they surveyed about 13,000 adults. And what they found was that about 78% of people worldwide masturbated. Men, somewhere between 92 and 98%, depending on what country they were from. And women, between 76 and 78%. So how often do people masturbate? Well, looking back at that 2010 United States study, about 25% of people reported masturbating about two to three times a month. About 20% masturbated two to three times per week. Less than 20% masturbated more than four times a week. So it was kind of all over the map. When you look at women specifically, most of them masturbated once a week or less than that. However, interestingly, in the Tenga data set, which they released again in 2020, they found that people 18 to 24 years old, about 57% of them are going to masturbate weekly, more often than any other age group. Now, is that because they are partnered or not partnered? We're not exactly sure. And what's the average age? People I think it's because they're not partnered, bro. It's as clear as day. It's because they're not partnered. People begin masturbating. All you parents, listen up, because if you have kids, you'll probably want to know. It's about 15 years of age. It can vary depending on the country, but it all happens around the 15th year of life. So why do people masturbate? And this is why, you know, even when I have kids in the future, man, my, my kids are not going to have a phone. 
And if they do have a phone, it's going to be regulated. You know what I'm saying, bro? It's like, because I'm not surprised that, you know, kids get exposed to that side of the internet or that side at 15. I'm not surprised because nowadays you got parents giving their kids phones at the age of 12, 13. So they're going to get curious, you know, especially in this society. So I'm not, I'm not any bit of surprise right now. Are they compensating for lack of a good sex life or they're complementing their sex life and adding to it by masturbating? When we've looked at the data, we found that women are more often complementing their sex lives and using masturbation when they're feeling happy or fulfilled. Whereas men tend to compensate for their sex lives and use it more often when they are not in a satisfying sexual relationship. Now that doesn't mean that if your partner masturbates and you're in a relationship with them, that necessarily applies to you. So I don't want you to freak out, but that that's just what the data shows that there's a tendency for that to occur. And you can imagine then that masturbation is not a substitute for a real sexual relationship. It is usually an adjunct to whatever sexual relationship you are in. And either way, it's not a bad thing. If someone is masturbating and is your partner, they are giving themselves sexual pleasure. And that should not be a bad thing unless it starts interfering with your day-to-day -day activities, your relationship. If they'd rather masturbate, well, I have something to say. I have my opinion on what she just said. It is a bad thing. Because why do you feel the need to masturbate when you have a whole human right next to you? Why do you feel the need to masturbate when you have a whole partner that you can do all those things to? Why do you feel the need to do that still? She's going to tell you that it's not a bad thing. Yes, it is a bad thing. Why do you feel the need to still in, in, involve yourself in those type of things when you have a whole partner right there? Like, that makes no sense to me, man. Then spend time with you, then it's a problem. But if they're use, doing it occasionally, support them, do it with them. There's no problem. So who's talking about masturbation? Clearly I'm talking about masturbation, but in society, how many people actually feel like it's important to talk about it? Well, in that Tanga study in 2018, they found that about 11 to 18% feel that it's important to talk about masturbation, which is a pretty small proportion. However, 30% of people actually admitted lying about masturbation. When you look at the results in across countries, more people think masturbation is good for them than bad for them. However, this varies across countries. Interestingly, India, which is where I'm from, a lot of you often ask, my family is from India, more percentage of people feel like masturbation is bad, about 14% in that particular survey. So I'm here to say it one last time, masturbation is not bad unless it is causing problems in your life. If you are finding that you prefer masturbation to other things, you're spending all day masturbating, not doing activities of... And she's not going to tell you guys that masturbation can become addicting. She's not going to tell you that. She's going to tell you that it's safe. It's not bad. Everything else. But the fact that it's addicting, it can become addicting. You know, it's kind of like a drug. You do it once, you want to go back again for that dopamine high. She's not going to tell you that it's, a, it's something that's very addicting. Why you think people struggle with going back and forth to the sites why do you think people struggle with even being on retention you know daily living like going to work spending time with your family or friends then it's a problem if not it's okay to masturbate it's a wonderful way to understand what gives you pleasure and it's completely safe no risk of pregnancy or sexually transmitted infections, unless you're sharing toys, in which case you need to make sure you clean them appropriately, sterilize them as needed before you share them with someone else. As always, remember to take care of yourself because you're worth it. Well, that was the video for today, man. <laughs> if you guys learned anything new or valuable from this video, make sure to drop a like. Let me know what y'all think about, um, what's her name? Rena Malik. Let me know what y'all think about this video, man. Is she is she telling like is she mixing truths in with the lies, or is this just or is this just straight cap, man? You know, cause I smell cap. I smell cap. You know what I'm saying? So let me know what y'all think, man. Like, comment, and subscribe, man. Share this video with a friend. Watch this end screen that's gonna pop up right here.
you know, and subscribe if you're not already subscribed, man. Look, I'll catch you in the next one, and I'm out.